Hey guys, so today I am going to show you guys how I set up a flat screen TV in my husband's tractor trailer. This is his cabin where he sleeps. Um, if you didn't know, a lot of truck drivers actually sleep in their trucks when they um, shut down. So yeah, we have to make this a little bit homey. So um, I decided to help him install a um, a flat screen TV mount. Um, you can buy these in Walmart depending on what size TV you have. This is a, I think this is a 32 inch TV if I'm not mistaken. If I am wrong, I'll put the correct size down below. So what you're going to do first is remove the privacy screen and check what kind of screw bit you're going to need and I needed a star bit so um, I believe I used the T15 if I'm not mistaken or the T20 it could be different in your truck okay so we're gonna put this little bit onto my drill my husband actually bought this for me about eight years ago um, one of the best things he ever bought me and we're gonna remove the screws only one screw on each side of the window so this is going to be the no extra hole no extra damage part of the video where you're not you know causing more damage to your truck or making extra holes especially if you don't own the truck okay um my husband is owner operator so he can do that if he wants to but why put holes in when we can do it an easy way so we're going to basically put the mound line it up make sure you follow the arrow so the arrow points up so follow the instructions that it comes with they're all different but we're gonna basically line it up with the holes from the window and then we're gonna put the screws back in okay you can use a washer if you want to but the way these screws are it kind of has like a built-in washer so i didn't bother doing it so you can do the mount like this without your privacy screen so I just wanted to show you guys how it would look without and it's very secure your TV is not gonna fall off or anything like that but um, he sleeps in his camper a lot so we put the screen back on he did damage it so um, you know this kind of helps keep it in place so that's how it looks you're gonna put it on um, I used my hands to put the screw in place and then finish it off with the drill please be careful when using an electric drill to you know put in screws and anything that's delicate you know even though it's a truck um, the window frame itself is made out of a plastic material and the TV mount you know the pro the, the product the metal that's used for it isn't like super hard so you don't want to bend the metal and you also don't want to you know mess up the plastic so get it nice and tight without overdoing it I know it's tempting to press the trigger on the drill all the way down but just a just a little bit of pressure will get the job done okay so this is how it looked before okay and this is from him pulling the screen off, putting the screen back, you see he ripped it. So with the mount on there, it did help kind of hold it in place a bit better. Okay, and this is how it should look. So hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm, I'm doing here. Um, this also is a kind of like a sliding TV mount, so he can move it from side to side. If you don't want your TV moving from side to side, you can definitely get straps for it, okay? So now we're going to put on the back parts of the TV mount, and we're going to screw these in to the back of the TV. You want to line these up so that it doesn't stick out too much at the top or the bottom. Okay. I I actually used um, a washer for this just to make sure it's in there securely. The TV mounts usually come with a huge packet of screws for different installation types for drywall, for um, wood studs, for concrete. Okay, so choose the best option for you. Um, I just chose screws that look like they would fit better. Okay, because there wasn't really a, a truck application in the um, instruction. So the washers I actually got from the um, drywall part of the uh, screw packet that they provided with the TV mount. So I took the washers from that and then I used these shorter screws. They're about an inch about an inch in length 
and um, used it to install the back parts of the TV mount. And I do like that it has these straps right here that you could pull it down to easily install the TV. So the top part slides in, but here's what you do. You pull this down as you put it on and then let go and it pretty much clicks in place. We're also going to add a antenna to the TV. This is a cheap antenna that you can get in a lot of um, home stores. You know those stores that have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and everything's like under ten dollars. Yeah, one of those stores. So um, this antenna is just to get local channels so he could see what the weather is like you know from state to state or town to town so we're just going to install that real quick just like you would a cable box and by the way the tv was not heavy so don't freak out i know i'm pregnant but um you know i'm not i'm not that slow and disabled <laughs> okay so as you put the tv on you're gonna slip in the top part while pulling down the bottom and it will click into place and as you guys could see it slide from side to side if you want the tv over if you don't want it over if you don't want the tv to move you can definitely use straps slide the straps um behind the tv mount and then strap your TV onto it and it will keep it from moving, okay? I wrapped around the um, antenna wire around the TV and then took it, put it um, underneath the privacy screen and pretty much clipped it back in place so this way it stays in the window, you know, while he's driving so he doesn't have to keep reinstalling it all the time. So he just keeps it there so he can just put his TV on and watch the local channels and things like that. If you're a trucker, um, you can use your phone as a hotspot. You can put your Netflix or your Hulu or whatever streaming um, subscription, TV subscription you have onto your TV. Okay, he has a few of them. So this is the before and this is the after. He's really enjoying the new TV and, you know, it feels a little bit more homey in there, even though it's still truck. But um, yeah, I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think, and um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, guys.